So, big thing we need to talk about with ketones with regard to enols is what's called the alpha carbon. So the alpha carbon is the carbon that is adjacent to the carbonyl carbon in the ketone and will ultimately be the one we form the double bond with when we undergo tautomerization in order to form the enol. Now, a few important points about this alpha carbon. First of all, if it does not contain a hydrogen, it cannot undergo tautomerization. So in this case, I have two H's and an R. If all three of those groups were R, we would not be able to undergo tautomerization. The reason being is that tautomerization involves a hydrogen transfer. If this carbon doesn't have hydrogen, it has no hydrogens to transfer, ergo it cannot undergo tautomerization. But the second is that because we can go under undergo tautomerization, that effectively makes these hydrogens more acidic than they would, would normally be for like a CH2 or a CH group. So if you're on a carbon adjacent to a carbonyl, those particular hydrogens are more acidic than they would be if they were not sitting next to the carbonyl. Now, I talked about in an earlier video about how we can undergo tautomerization if we're in base or acid catalyzed conditions. Well, these are acidic, right? So if these hydrogens are acidic, it means that this tautomerization becomes self-catalyzed. So that's something to keep in mind with tautomerization. If we do not supply an acid to our enol or our ketone, but we do have an alpha carbon with a hydrogen, they can kind of catalyze their own reactions. Now, this is going to be slower. I mean, when I say these are acidic, I mean that they're labile, but I don't mean that they're very acidic. You're not going to like see a massive pH jump because of it. But what you can say is that even though you may not have supplied acid to the system, it will have the ability to undergo tautomerization. It will just do so at a much slower rate. So if we do any reaction, if we have any possibility of working with reagents that would interact with an enol or an enolate, this is going to be this is going to be able to undergo it even though we don't supply the acid with the base. The acid and the base are meant to expedite the reaction, but again, the reaction will occur on its own. And this is going to have large implications here when we start talking about halogening and why we can halogenate this particular carbon.